Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of season 2 here at Sunderland. We're top of the table after the first month of the season with new signings galore and great performances to go along with that. Unfortunately for this first game today we're missing a couple of players through international duty but that's not a problem we should be able to deal with it we follow the game against Wimbledon with a Sims 1 against Wickham we'll then play Blackpool away Sim Peterborough at home Sim Shrewsbury away in the cup and play Burton away so Wimbledon Blackpool and Burton will be the played games today and hopefully we can keep ourselves at least in the top two I'm not saying I want the title this year but if we could get ourselves a top two finish, then that would be superb because the playoffs didn't go well for us last year and I don't want to have to rely on the lottery of that again. So Wimbledon first, then Blackpool, then Burton with some sim games in between. Drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any more and we'll jump in now. Through to Jamal Lowe. We'll use the run there of Jack Clark and then look for Sam Nicholson. It's a great block by Thomas. Important stop from the defender there to ensure that we weren't playing Nicholas through one on one. Although, <laughs> judging by the way he attempted finishes in the previous two games from close range positions, not entirely too sure whether we'd have scored or not. He got rather lucky with the one that he scored in the last game of yesterday's episode. But, oh, dearie me. We're still pushing on well and hoping to get ourselves in front. Wimbledon are the lowest scorers in the league so far. And we are the highest scorers in the league so far. 11 for us, 4 for them in the opening 5 games. So I'd like to think it's purely just a matter of time before the ball goes into the back of the net for us. But so far it hasn't been that easy trying to break this Wimbledon back line down. What more will get that inside there to Ravel Morrison who will find Sam Nicholas who turns well but can't accelerate away from Thomas at the back. Good solid game for their centre-back so far and for their entire defence to be fair. He's hurt himself there, James Justin, whilst playing that pass and now we're in trouble. Where's he up here to Hartigan? Across here to Joe Piggott. Here's McLaughlin. Out wide here to Sibick. Wimbledon trying to profit from an injury to our player but thankfully they haven't. A little bit rather controversial. Here's Drew Yearwood. We'll go to Sam Nicholson again, take it in his stride and really get forward. They just can't cope with the pace. Really Cross comes in. It's not here. bad at all, but it is going to be cleared away. Looks like it's going to be nil-nil at half-time here against Wimbledon. Might have to make another change at half-time as well to take off that injured right-back now. But promising first half, but no way through yet. Morrison, space out wide there for Jack Clark. Played in well, cut back on that right foot. Whip the ball into the middle and Jamalo's waiting for it and there's a 1-0 lead. Lovely cross from Jack Clark and well tucked away by Jamalo. I keep forgetting that's his default celebration. Good finish from Jamalo. He's definitely earned that starting spot. Whether Will Grigg is available for this game or not, he would have been playing. And two assists in a previous game. Actually a very well put away header there as well. His first goal of the season, but certainly earning the starts with the assists that he's been getting recently and now adding goals to the mix as well. It could be a very good season for Jamal Lowe for us in that striking role. We brought in the extra winger because we thought we could use Jamal as a striker, proving to be the right decision so far. We'll get that inside there actually to Drew Yearwood and he could go again there, Jack Clark, and has done. Work inside to Nicholas and again for Jamal Lowe. Is he going to add another assist? I swear there was a tug on Duncan Watmore's shirt there. Unfortunately, not able to get on the end of the ball, but we'll stay 1-0 in front for now. We'll get it to Watmore on this occasion. He's left McDonald there for dead. Ah, oh, McDonald, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> That's a Wimbledon throw. Short there to Jamal Lowe. Back it out to the left back. Making the run down the line is Sam Nicholson, but he's absolutely dead. Very low on stamina. Here is Harrison. Jamal Lowe, Harrison could go again. Lowe looking to accelerate around the outside, going so low, but so wide. Callum Bailly down the left-hand side. Decent delivery. Drew Yearwood came back from midfield to get in the way. Kweziapia off Jimmy Dunn uh, for a Wimbledon corner. 
Rapper Morrison going off and Ratiu coming on in a change in the midfield to try and hold on to this 1-0 lead. And to win this header, so we saw that we do that and we have done well. And here's Thomas. Now to Anthony Wordsworth. Down the line there to Quezzi. Into the middle again. And it's Ratiu that's in the, in the way and well, fortuitously fell back to Bettinelli. Just going to bump this out wide here to Nicholson and try and get it down the line. Here is Harrison. Five star weak foot could come in handy at a certain or at the right time, but he's going to find Nicholson, and he'll find Ratiu off the bench, nearly scoring us a second goal to seal the game. Where's the Appier going off for Wimbledon? And Ratiu will deliver the corner himself. Maybe he'll get an assist instead. No, Callum Bailly out to Harrison. Harrison will look to bend this, and it bent a little bit, but it wasn't really ever going to cause the keeper any problems there, was it? Poor to Harrison. Turned well enough. Ratiu will find Jamal Lowe, and will give it to Harrison. Spins well. It looks like he's going to be a good hold-up player, Harrison, just because of the sheer size of the guy. It's going to drop nicely to Ratiu, who can't hold the ball up. But hopefully they'll run out of time here when we're doing when going on the counter-attack. Indeed they do. We'll take that. Only a slim margin of victory, but it is a victory nonetheless. The top goal scorers in the league score one to sink the lowest goal scorers in the league, who can't get it in the back of the net. Three points, and onwards we go. Justin is out for three weeks, so he will miss this next game against Wickham. But Adam Matthews is drafted in and he's certainly good enough to fill the gap because he was really solid for us last year and perhaps would be considering himself unlucky not to still have that first team spot. But we've certainly improved with overall rating in that position. And he's one of the older players in the side, even at just 27, Adam Matthews is still one of the oldest players in the squad. We've built that sort of team ready for the future. but. This season, they're ready right now. 2-0 up here against Wickham. 3-0 up now against Wickham as Ratiu comes off the bench to grab one. Low continuing to score and have an impact further up the field. We shall now go and play Blackpool and get ourselves, hopefully, another set of three points moving forward in the league season. We'll stay top for now unless goal difference has moved us off. And indeed it hasn't. We're in fact, clear by a couple of points. Right then. Blackpool up next. Go from there. It's out of play. Gooch with the throw. Just worried about Back the to Matthews. Only Work that into the middle. And true, you would could let fly run. here. He's found Jack Clark instead, who draws a good save at Howard Lowe. And Clark will finish this time. Jamal Lowe, influential again in that striking position. Initially, we signed him as a winger. But he's certainly proving to be one hell of an influential striker this season. 1-0, another assist for Lowe, another goal for Jack Clark as well. Scored a hat-trick in a game earlier on in the season. And now has a goal in a played game too. It was desperately unlucky against Gillingham in the last episode when the ball came back off the bar, not to get one on that occasion too. Didn't impress massively when he came in, Jack Clark, I will be honest. But certainly having a better year so far in season two. And to be fair, the same can be said of Jamal Lowe. He certainly didn't impress. Oh, off the post, Lyndon Gooch wide. Free kick for Blackpool. Jack Ryan to deliver it. And it's not the worst delivery in the world, but Jamal Lowe was the man that was there. And Maguire can't quite get to that head of Turton. Still, they come forward here. Nicely done by Feeney. In there to O'Sullivan. Done in the way. Win that header, please, Jimmy. I don't know whether he did or not, but it's ended up back here with Jay Spearing via Jack Ryan. Deflected, and Jimmy Dunn caught in possession, but the keeper will come and get to that. And danger is averted. Our 1-0 lead for now remains intact. And hopefully that will remain the case throughout the entirety of the game. If not, we'll extend it. Rabbi Morrison, we could extend it right here, right now. Sean Maguire played in. We'll look for Jamal Lowe. Early shot blocked and cleared away. Four minutes to go till half-time. Still in front, still looking relatively comfortable. He's down the line to Gooch, quickly inside looking for Ravel Morrison. And then Gooch has the space to get into here, but not necessarily the pace to exploit it. The drill is looking for Drew Yearwood, play early to Maguire. Not even Maguire, it's Ravel Morrison, Jack Clark with a turn. He's still going here, Jack Clark. My attempted shot ended up being a tackle because it registered that he'd lost possession. And now here come Blackpool on the counter-attack. Max Clayton has runners inside him. Jay Spearing will actually play the 1-2 with Clayton here. Down the line to O'Sullivan. In towards the middle. Who's going to get to that first? It'll be Ravel Morrison. Gooch inside to Drew Yearwood. Forward there to Jamal Lowe. Space for Jack Clark on the far side. We will look for him. It's a beautiful ball by Jamal Lowe to find him. Takes it in his stride well. 
Turns inside, Jack Clark blocked and corner. No? No. All right, cool. Good header by Kolka, dominating at the back. Maguire, we will poke that for Jamal Lowe. He's forced a little bit wide and to, to be fair, look at the way Bowler came back at me there. He's going to drop here to Duncan Watmore, out of his feet, whip the ball in and maybe kept in by Nicholson to be fair it should be fast enough to do so and does oh great cross oh have we not scored there Jamal Lowe all he needed to do was get his head to that and surely that was 2-0 what more in there to max power oh, I can't feed it through the gap I made three changes both wings changed and someone in the middle max power coming on for Ravel Morrison to try and hopefully be slightly more defensive in the midfield and ensure that we get the win Poked that round the corner there for Sam Nicholson. Whipped him brilliantly. Maguire somehow kept out by the keeper. I can't quite believe he's done that. It was a disgusting cross from Nicholson on the left-hand side. And all oh, Max Lowe caught out there by the strength of Liam Feeney. And a whipped in cross is... Well, Thompson could make his mind up there. Do I shoot? Do I try and flick it to my teammate? In the end, he does neither. And it's a goal kick. Low down the line to Max Power. Brought on to add a defensive side to the final few moments. Well, Nicholson has had a couple of opportunities in this final few minutes. And if that had been on target, it would have been a stupendous way to perhaps give us a second goal. He's been a good acquisition, Sam Nichols. I'm very pleased with his play so far. Oh, just trying to quickly change feet to Maguire and couldn't quite sort them out. Quickly enough, but Nicholson does have his goal and deserves it too. 2 0 Sunderland, game over, Blackpool. Sorry, lads, nothing for you here. Three points coming our way. Final whistle's gone, and victory for Sunderland. Deserved. Certainly the better side. We kept possession there better than almost any other game we've played so far this season, actually. Really pleased with the way this season is coming together. Not just with the results, obviously, but the manner in which we're winning the games as well. We've definitely improved drastically from last year. A number of reasons to that. Some being the acquisitions we've made. Some being the fact... Oh, are you actually going to be any good? 75 to 94. Go on, then I will call you up. Ooh, 71 to 94. 38 to 50 starting is dead. Uh, that's a no. That's a definite yes. Uh, that's a no. That's also a no. And a no. And a no. Yeah, we. Some of it's the improvements we've made to the side with regards to signings. That elsewhere it's because players that we've already had have grown and have actually improved themselves. Where so we haven't needed to replace people in certain positions. Jamal Lowe is having a hell of a season as well at striker and proving to be the man that we needed to partner Sean Maguire. We bought Maguire to partner Grigg. As it turns out, Maguire was the right purchase, but it wasn't Grigg. He was destined to partner with up top. It's actually Jamal Lowe. Two goals for each of them in this 4-0 victory over Peterborough. And as a Cambridge United fan, that makes me rather happy. Sunderland 4-5. Sunderland 5, Peterborough nil. Sorry, Borough, but you got battered. All right, Jimmy Dunn's happy with his level of first team football, which is good news. We've Shrewsbury next in the cup, which we shall also simulate. That one's actually away, but we should be good enough to hopefully get victory against Shrewsbury in this away game, regardless of the fact that it's only just a few days after the previous game against Peterborough. And then it will be Burton away from home in the league that we play to end the episode. Now, away game simulation never really goes anywhere near as well as home simulation. But if your side is good enough, you should be able to get the victory. It's really frustrating that away sim is so drastically different to home sim, regardless of, or almost regardless of strength of side. The only time I've seen away sim be consistently positive and not back, not really, really out of sync with the rest of you know your results was in that achieving leave season with Manchester United where everybody was just absolutely nuts and we had the most incredible starting lineup at Manchester United and batted everyone whether it were home or away Sean Maguire grabbed himself a hat-trick there we are through to the next round of the Carabao Cup we're also two points clear at the top of League One but we're not running away with it we might be having a very very good season 
and still be unbeaten. But there are four other, sorry, three other unbeaten sides in the league so far. We're not running away with this by any stretch. MK Dons and Bolton, at least, are keeping us honest. Two and four points the difference. Colchester are further fall back as they've drawn more than they've won, but still unbeaten, so fair play to them. But it's Burton we play next in the final game of September, and I'd like to think we'll get another set of three points here. Boyce looking for Miller. Keeper will get there. Uh, right then. So I called the keeper out to get to that. And the defender, like, just stood there pressing and holding. Why? And the defender has just taken control and been tackled immediately. And then, of course, my keeper's not in goal. So I've conceded. All through. Call the keeper out. And he just... Well, a lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was, but... Right then, 1-0 Burton. Fucks off the man that was Morrison. with him well. And Ravel Morris will get it quickly to Maguire. And to Marlow finds some space. Doesn't find the back of the net. Not far wide, but it was past the post. Clark. I see the run from left back arriving here from Lowe. Gets onto it. How's your crossing? Oh, not bad actually. But only finding a Burton man. Maguire. Find a bit of space. Oh, I just wanted to try and bend that. But two people that have stayed down there. Thankfully, Maguire's back to his feet, but someone is still on the floor in the box, on the edge of the six-yard box. He's just started to run away now. You can see from the mini-map at the bottom. And oh, Burton are building their own move. They're looking to get themselves a second. 24th minute, Ravel Morrison that went down at that near post. Yearwood heads that away, but not very far. Fraser building again. Boyce to Allen. Allen with the ball into the middle, and Boyce with a tame effort on goal. But I have to make two substitutions in this game due to injury it's really going to affect our ability to be cute tactically and get ourselves back into the game with the right change at the right time because I'll be having to make changes at the wrong time or forced into making changes at the wrong time Gooch around the corner though and with a narrow angle equalizes thank you very much right let's build on that and go and get another quiet that's a great ball looking for Lyndon Gooch over the top He'll bring it down, he'll turn. Jamal Lowe is just waiting for it, and there's a second. That was very simple, but it was pure to the... Oh, and again. It was down to the pure quality of the play. Lovely turn. Jamal Lowe is just waiting on his own. Just stood completely free, five yards out. His fifth goal of the League One season so far. Quite a year for our front two to this point. Dominating... Well, actually, not necessarily dominating League One as a whole... So we were only two points clear at the top of the table prior to the start of this game, but certainly having a very competitive season. Lovely ball in by Miller, and we might not... Oh, he took his time. I thought he was actually just going to ignore that as it rolled out for a goal kick off his foot. Allen will deliver the ball into the middle here, and Burton might be about to hit back. No, they won't catch that. Well done, Bettinelli. We'll stay 2-1 up for now, and then push into the second half, and maybe, hopefully, make it three. Boyce, to find an there towards man in the middle, but thankfully Yearwood on hand to uh, get rid of it. Gooch to Yearwood, in there to Ratiu. Three people making moves in front of me, one of which being Jamal Lowe. The Not that short there to Sean Maguire. I oh, shot the shot nicely. Sean Maguire in for a goal of his own. Good save. It'll drop to Ratiu, and he stumped that home. Off the bench at half time for the what, injured, carrying a knock. Uh, Ravel Morrison, and he's smashed that home on his weaker foot. He's left-footed, Ratiu, and well, he's, he's lost all balance after having this shot, as you can see, crashing to the floor. But he's turned that home really well. I'd say able to keep it down, but it was rising. If he was much further out, it would have gone over. But under the bar it went, and we were able to get ourselves two goal advantage. And now 1-0 down very early on, thanks to a mistake or defensive mix-up from keeper and defender. But... After the hour mark, now asserting our dominance and showing why we're the best side in this division. Call it nicely to Fox. There's still time for Burton to do something in this game. It might be sparked by this corner. Buxton going off. Burton with their fifth corner of the game. I actually haven't had one, it seems, in the game so far. I certainly don't recall having one, but Haim has come on Jake Buxton here. But really haven't been able to create anything of any real note other than 
the goal that really they shouldn't have scored in the first half. We'll try and catch them on the counter here, but Hutchinson wins it back. David Templeton has the pace and the fresh legs to get away here. Trying to get it off him here with Ratu, but chasing him down is easier said than done. Dave Templeton with a turn again, and Dave with a cross, and Corker with the clearance. Back to Templeton again. And, oh, he's gotten away from me again. Another good delivery. This time Harness with the header, but saved. Comfortably so. And there's the final whistle. Well, that was easy enough. Slightly dodgy start. Wow, I didn't realise they'd had quite so many chances there, but it definitely didn't feel like that one-sided a game. It certainly was a one-sided scoreline. It felt like they were as competitive as me, but not necessarily more so. Five points the gap at the top now. After two months of this season, Ravel Morrison is out for five days. That's manageable, certainly. So we have a game. A, oh, a very busy month coming up. Right, Everton in the round of 16, the Carabao Cup coming up. I certainly want to test myself against them. So we'll be playing them next episode. And either Colchester or Lincoln. Probably Lincoln. No, the QPR game was at home, wasn't it? So yeah, Colchester, Lincoln and Everton will be the three games we play tomorrow. All right, well, that's easy enough. For now, though... Delighted with the way things are going so far this season and that's where we'll leave it for now Thank you very much for watching guys do drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on more Hopefully this season goes from strength to strength. I'll see you next